In this video, I am talking about Lyoa 11mm f4.5 C Dreamer. I have reviewed 15 and 9mm Lyoa lenses before, and although personally I have never been a huge fan, they are very good ultra wide angle lenses. So this time, I decided to review the new offering from Lyoa, this 11mm f4.5 lens. I need to say thanks to Lyoa Venus Optics for lending me this lens for this review. However, I was, I was not paid or asked to say anything specific about it, so it is my honest and unbiased opinion about it. I also need to apologize to all of you who might have seen my previous two reviews, or might see in the future, as I might be repeating myself here, this lens is very, very similar in many ways to the other Lyoa lenses, especially the 9mm one. So instead of going through the usual performance, build quality, and who it is for and all that, I'll go through the pros and cons of having and shooting with this lens. What are the pros? The first pro, it is an ultra wide full frame rectilinear lens. Although there is some pin cushion bulging type of distortion noticeable on the images, it does deliver very wide angle of view, 126 degrees to be precise. And that means that you can get a lot into your shots, fairly straight and certainly usable for a lot of different types of photography and videography as long as it's wide photography and videography. Now the pro is its size. This lens is certainly small, 6.3 centimeters long, uh, 2.5 inches, and it weighs only 254 grams. Great for run and gone, travel and everyday carry around. Image quality is definitely a pro. This lens is sharp and it is of course manual focusing only lens, but when you get it right, the sharpness is outstanding. And as it is ultra wide lens, it is very often meant to be used at f8 or smaller apertures, making the manual focusing uh, inquiring much, much easier. Close focusing distance, only 19 centimeters. It is good for getting closer to your subject and getting those wacky super wide images. It's not a macro, it's not a portrait or nature lens, and it's not trying to be one. It is wide, super wide. 62 millimeter filter thread, that's certainly a pro because uh, the front element is curved. There is a filter thread built in inside of the attached uh, metal hood. Yes, you can attach some kind of external filter system for square filters, but it's actually possible to screw the filter inside of this, uh, this hood, which makes it all much easier. Make sure that your filter external ring, the metal ring around the filter is not too big and it will fill in, fit inside of this hood or it will get stuck. Now the Pro is a 10 point Sunstars. Five aperture blades create really nice 10 point Sunstars. As I mentioned before, most of the time with the lens this wide, you are gonna get best results shooting at the smaller apertures and getting more sharpness throughout the shots. By closing the aperture to f8 and more, it will create more visible and more pronounced 10 point Sunstars. The build, that's a huge pro it is very, very well built. All metal, solid, and it feels like it's gonna last. Very smooth and firm focus ring with hard stop at either end of the focus travel and, and not the clicked aperture ring, but the clicks are very soft and very quiet. I also love this uh, little focusing tab. Uh, it makes it much easier and more accurate to, to turn the focusing ring without looking at the lens while shooting. And the uh, big, Pro is the mounts it comes in. It comes in Sony E, Leica M and Leica L mounts, but also Nikon Z. There isn't many third party lenses for Nikon Z, so it is nice to see that the manufacturers like Lyoa can create these mainly due to the lack of electronic contact with the camera. It is fully manual lens, but you can use it on Nikon Z mount. Cons, I really don't like to find problems with lenses as unless it is broken, you can always learn to work around these. But 
With this, as with other Lyowa lenses, there are things that you should be aware of before even thinking of committing yourself to, to one of these. Filter thread is a con, yes. It's a pro and a con. Yes, you can attach the filter to it, but because the thread is inside of this metal, metal hood, it might be sometimes difficult to get the filter off. I got filters stuck on regular lenses before, and it was extremely hard to unscrew it and take it off. So I can't even imagine how hard it could be to take it off if you can't get your fingers in there to grab it properly. Now the con is the vignetting. There's very visible vignetting, and it's not just the darker corners, which I presume is the actually hood visible in the photos. That's easy to fix in post, but also much darker contrast in the contrasty areas near the edges of the photos and videos. This makes some images really hard to edit and takes longer to edit and to get them look as you'd imagine they should look. If you shoot JPEG, then you might not be able to fix this in post at all. Third, final and the biggest problem with this lens is the price. This lens is very expensive for what it is. It retails here in UK for £769, $699 in US. It is only a manual lens. Okay, there's no much competition at 11 millimeter, but the other wide, okay, not as wide, but wide angle options out there, manual and autofocusing, it does decent job with video, absolutely usable to show more than usual in the frame to create a different look than we are all used to. The perspective changes are very pronounced and even more visible than with photography. Perspective changes when you move the camera. I don't think this focal length is right for vlogging. It's just too wide. It makes my arm look really, really long and, and warped, distorted by its perspective. Maybe okay for some for some situations, but generally speaking, I just don't think it's a it's a right tool for, for vlogging. Too wide. Great for moving shots or even handheld shots, as with this wide focal length, you will see less camera shake or micro jitters, and the motion will be really enhanced. In the time I had using this lens, I found that it was actually great to shoot video with something about how brain translates these super wide images. In my personal opinion, I think it's just marginally too wide for photography, but it works for video. It brain translates that, that wideness differently. Perfect for moving gimbal shots and for the times when 15 millimeter standard wide angle lens is just not wide enough. Conclusion. It is a lens that, in my opinion, is not really suitable for close-up photography. Although it can focus fairly closely, but even at the closest focusing distance, everything looks very far away because it is so wide or very distorted. It is not really suitable for portrait photography unless you want to create a caricature look with big heads, small feet, or show people in their environment and in really confined spaces. However, it is very suitable for shooting interiors to show rooms from wall to wall. It makes big spaces look epic and it makes possible to capture smaller spaces entirely in just one shot. It is definitely a specialist tool needed in a specialist situations. Astrophotography, landscape, cityscape, absolutely yes. Anything else, the fun time with it might be a little limited and somehow short. Lyoa makes so many different wide focal lengths. 9mm, this 11mm, 12, 15. You won't get a full set. They are just too similar to each other. However, if you need ultra wide angle of view for whatever images or videos you are creating, choose only one and choose wisely. For me, I think it would be this one. It sits right in the middle of the lenses, which are just standard wide, like 15mm or too wide like the 9mm. Thanks once again to Lyoa for lending me this lens for this review and this is it from me. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you like this kind of content, photography, video lenses, cameras, reviews and tutorials then please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And that's definitely a f***ing wrap. Lyoa, 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 Lyoa. They certainly want you to know that this is Lyoa Tiny, cool, and wide. What do you expect? Is that f***ing wide? Right, we, we, we don't. We don't? Thanks for watching. Yes, see you. Bye, 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 bye. Cut.